Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're doing the what's next on former two division world champion Demetrius Andre following his first career defeat as he um, got stopped against David Benavidez in the sixth round on the November 25th Showtime pay-per-view card as they were the main event. Now before we get into that, if you can smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channels here. So this fight with um, Benavidez, you know, Andre did the best that he could. David Benavidez is a fucking beast. He's huge. He's a big guy. And Andre just, you know, did all he could. But, you know, like I said, Benavidez is very good. And he is a very big guy and um and andre just couldn't keep up with the pace and he decided to retire in his corner after six rounds now i love the people that say oh andre's a quitter you know it's real easy to say that when you're not the one taking the fucking punches in the ring you know um i am not a fan of, of andre either i'm not at all uh that dude um has talked shit he's a talented fighter but he's talked shit when you know it was unnecessary because he really hadn't beaten anybody to talk all that shit now was he avoided yeah to an extent he was but um he also avoided other fighters as well so you know i don't want to get back all into that but andre you know did all he could to beat david he went for it and he lost and that's all it is so Anyways, the big question now is what's next for Demetrius Andre? And I don't know. It's going to be tough for him at 35 to get a serious fight with somebody at 168. But I do I do think there, there are options, you know, uh, guys that are trying to build on, you know, build and they might fight a former champ like this and take that risk. I think they'd be more willing to take the risk now than they were before but still it could be tough so let's run through 168 and see what's possible for Demetrius Andre start with Canelo Alvarez the undisputed champ no way that's that's possible after the way he got dismantled against David Benavides David Benavides in a rematch no way no reason for it not happening Caleb Plant um they're both PBC guys if there's one guy that I think wouldn't be afraid to fight Andre next, it'd be Plant. Plant has done this kind of stuff before. When he fought Darrell, you know? Um, he comes back and he'll take on a guy with a name. And I think Plant would be confident enough that he could beat um, Andre. But all the better named options would have to be off the table first. I think Plant is only going to take that fight if um, there's no other better named options. And I think Andre would definitely take that fight. Uh, John Ryder. I don't uh, I don't know. John Ryder is willing to pretty much fight anybody. If he beats Munguia in January, I think he might consider Andre, but I think he'd be an option to so many other guys because of his style. Um, that I, I don't think Andre would be first on his list, but not to say he wouldn't consider it. But if he loses to uh, Manguia in January. Yeah, I could I could see that fight happening then. Um, then there's Jaime Manguia. Uh, Manguia passed on this fight before. He's in a different position. Win or lose against John Ryder, I don't think Manguia would want to fight with Andre. I don't think he'd take it. Um, Sergey Derevinchenko. This is a fight that we wanted to see get made for a while at 160 and it never happened. But I do believe that Derevinchenko coming off a loss to, uh, to what's his name, to Munguia and not getting a rematch in such a close fight, um, I think Derevinchenko would consider a showdown with Andre. I really do. Um, you know, and, and I think that fight does have some legs to it. David Morrell Jr. Absolutely think David Morrell would fight Demetrius Andre. If Andre wanted to take that risk, I think he might. I think Andre might take risk. In his next fight though, I'm not so sure. But that's not to say that he wouldn't take that fight 
because it's a big fight. He could come back. It's a big opportunity against an undefeated fighter on the rise. But David Morrell is very strong. So I'm like 50-50 of whether Andre would want that fight next. But I do think he'd be interested. Then there's Vladimir Shishkin. BBC guy. He's the IBF's mandatory number one contender. I'm not sure Shishkin would risk that and fight Andre, but he might because Andre has a name and Shishkin is trying to make a name for himself. So I think the interest could be there from that viewpoint. Edgar Berlanga, he's a DAZN guy with Matchroom. Um, wouldn't completely rule it out, but I think Berlanga is coming along on a different level and they they are trying to bring him along to fight guys with a, a more beatable style than Andre's that he could look good against. So I don't think Berlanga would be interested in this fight next. So Andre, I do believe, has options here coming off of this loss at 168. I really believe uh, Caleb Plant, um, Sergey Derevchenko, David Morrell, and Vladimir Shishkin are options. Um, if Anthony Durrell wanted to continue fighting, I think he might even fight Andre, but to be honest, I don't think that that's going to happen. But there are options. Former champion Caleb Truex, you could throw in that mix. He might be interested in a fight here with Andre. But Andre, I do believe, can get uh, fights. It's just how hard is he going to push and how, how interested are the other guys going to be? Um, he might end up fighting just a, a, a comebacker against a, kind of a low-level name. Um, another thing that, that was mentioned in a boxing uh, forum that I that I follow on Facebook is maybe Boo Boo moving back down to 160 makes more sense. I don't think that's that's a bad option, but I don't I don't think um, I don't think Andre would want to do that. Um, I think he wants to take a, a run at 168 here and see what he can do uh, going forward. And, um, you know, but and the, the last option is maybe retirement. You know, Andre might be considering that coming off a big loss like this. Personally, I don't feel he's going to do it. I think Andre feels like he has more work to do, but that's that doesn't mean that it's not being considered. So that's it. That's what I got. That's my what's next on former two division champion Demetrius Andre following that sixth round TKO loss to David Benavidez as he challenged for the interim title on November 25th on Showtime pay-per-view. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.